Oh, heaven, she pities me. And pity still for runs. Approaching love, as lightning does the thunder. Tune your harps, ye angels, to that sound. And thou, my heart, make room to entertain the flowing joy. But I have been in such a dismal place Where joy enters which the sun ne'er cheers Bound in with darkness Or spread with damps where I have seen If I could say I saw The good old king Majestic even in bands and midst his griefs, most venerably great. By the dim, winking lamp that feebly broke the gloomy vapors he lay, stretched along upon the wholesome ground. His eyes cast glow, and ever and anon the silent tears stole down, and trickled from his aged cheek. Oh, I have passed a miserable night, so full of fearful dreams of ugly sights. But as I am a faithful Christian man, I would not spend another such a night that were to buy a world of happy days. So full of dismal terror was the time. Now imitate the action of a tiger. Stiffen the sinews. Summon up the blood. Lend fierce and dreadful aspect to the eye. Set the teeth close and stretch the nostril wide. Hold her the breath. And bend up every spirit to its full height. I say my sister's wronged. Monidia, my sister. Born as high and noble as Castalio. Do her justice. Or by the gods. Aliasina blood shall make this dwelling horrible to nature. I'll do it. Hark ye, my lord, your son Castalio. Take him to your closet and there teach him manners. But I feel no misery but my own. How easy were it for this sword to free me from every anguish that embitters life. But when the grave has given my soul rest, where shall my miserable wife find comfort? Friended and alone in one's bleak storm. Not all the angelic virtues of her mind will shield her from the unpitying world's division. Can it 
be kind to leave her thus exposed. Bear back thy fulsome greeting to thy master. Tell him I'll none on it. Had he been a god, all his omnipotence could not restore the radiance he a majesty eclipsed. For aught besides, it is not worth my care. The giver and this gift are both despised. The Tartar and his... The Tartar is my bane. I cannot bear him. One heaven and earth can never hold us both. Still shall we hate. And with defiance deadly, keep rage alive till one be lost forever. As if two suns should meet in the meridian and strive in fiery combat for the passage. Why dost thou echo me? As if there were some monster in thy thought to hedges to be shown. Thou dost mean something? I heard thee say but now thou likest not that. When Cassio left my wife, what didst not like? And when I told thee that he was my friend, and went a-wooing for me. With thy brow bent and pursed up, thy answer was, Indeed. If thou dost love me, tell me what thou thought'st. I think my wife is honest. I think she's not. I think that thou art just. And that thou art not. I'll have full proof. My name that once was fresh as chaste Diana's face is now grown black like my own visage. There be cords or knives, poison, fire, or suffocating streams, I'll not endure it! Would I were satisfied! Angels and ministers of grace, defend me! Be thou a spirit of light, O oh, goblin damned. Bring with thee airs from heaven, or oh, blast from hell. Be thy intents wicked or charitable. Thou comest in such a questionable shape, 
that I will speak with thee. I feel my blood cool and grow thick as melted lead flows heavy and hardens in its motion. A little longer, and I, who have a heart already marble, shall petrify throughout and be a statue. Why have those piercing eyes so ill distinguished the reverence of my ardour? Licence and freedom would, in your presence, be dissolved to ours, and flow in sighs to soften you. That hand, oh, give it me, and I will swear upon it, that my charmed spirits ne'er rose till now in such a tide of ecstasy that heaven has left your sex in shade to light up you with every grace that swells desire in mortals or gives your guardian angel pride to view it. 